Hi everyone, this video is about straight line graphs and using y equals mx plus c. Right, we're going to start off by looking at horizontal and vertical line graphs. So if we had an equation, say, uh, x equals 3, we could plot this as a graph by finding the x-axis and finding where 3 is, so this is going to be just here, and drawing a vertical line straight up, like so. And that would be the line of x equals 3, because at any point on this curve, on the line, we have x equal to 3. Um, we could do another one, say x equals uh, minus 5. And same, we just find the x-axis, find minus 5, and draw a vertical line down. And you should always use a ruler, of course, not like what I'm doing, it's all wiggly. Yours would be much nicer, I'm sure. Um, we could do the same for y equals something. So if we had y equals 4, we would just find the y-axis, find 4, and draw a horizontal line straight through like that. So that should be quite straightforward. Um, but often you're asked to plot more complicated graphs, things like y equals 2x uh, minus 1, say. And we'll start with that y equals 2x minus 1. So the difference here is that we have um, y and x in our equation. Uh, and so there are different ways of plotting this, but I'm going to plot it um, in the simplest way to begin with, or certainly... Um, the method is perhaps easiest to understand, but I'll show you a quick way in a bit. So this method involves a table of values. So you have x and y, and you draw yourself a little table, and we're going to draw um, a straight line, because this is what we call a linear equation, because there's no x squared terms or x cubed terms, it's just an x term uh, and some numbers, so we know it's going to be a straight line. So three numbers in our table of value is enough, and for your x values, you can pick any values, but I think it's most sensible to pick 1, 2, 3. Some people pick 0 and 1, 2, that's fine. Um, I like picking 1, 2, and 3. So what we do is we substitute these values into our equation. So if we think this x is 1 here, we're going to swap this x for a 1. So it's going to be y equals 2 times 1 minus 1, and that is 1. Next, we have this x is now 2, so it's y equals 2 times 2 minus 1, which is 3. And now the 3 is the x, so that's 2 times 3 minus 1, which is 5. Now I go to my graph and I plot these coordinates in pairs. So um, I'm going to have, when x is 1, y is 1. So I plot that with a nice accurate cross. Not like that. Let me try that again. There we go. That's a bit better. Uh, when x is 2, y is 3. And when x is 3, y is 5. And you should see that they form um, a straight line. And then you get your pencil and ruler. And you connect them like this. And you extend the line all the way through like that. And if you want to also, I would recommend labeling it like that. 2x minus 1. Now, there's a quicker way, and that is using y equals mx plus c. So let me get rid of all this stuff here. So this is something you've probably heard in your maths lessons, and it is certainly worth remembering. y equals mx plus c. Now, your y and your x will stay as it is, because we'll need them in the equation, but the m, that will change to be a number, and the plus c will change to be a number as well you need to know that this M stands for the gradient. I don't know why they've picked M as the letter. Uh, if somebody finds it and tells me, uh, I'll be very grateful. Uh, and this C here, this is what we call the Y-intercept, which is where the line crosses the Y-axis. So, for example, if we had Y equals 3X plus 5, we could tell that the gradient was 3, and the y-intercept was 5. Or if we had y equals x minus 4, 
we could tell the gradient is the number in front of the x, so that's just a 1, that's the same as having a 1 there, and the y-intercept would be minus 4. And if we had something like this, minus 6x, well, the gradient is minus 6, uh, and there is no y-intercept here, so it would just be 0, which means it would go through the origin. Now, we can use this to help plot graphs in the form of y equals mx plus c a little bit quicker. So let me um, get a nice blank graph and we'll plot, uh, we'll plot an equation, something like y equals 3x minus 2 we'll go for. So I could do a table of values here, but um, we're going for the quicker way. So immediately I can tell the gradient is 3 and the y-intercept is minus 2. So the minus 2 tells me it's going to cross the y-axis at minus 2 so I can know straight away I'm going to need a cross here, it's going to go through this point here at minus 2. Now this 3 is the gradient. There's a formula you need to know for gradient and that is gradient equals change in y divide by change in x. It basically means how steep your line is going to be. So if the gradient is 3, that means for every 1 across, you go 3 up. So if I start from this point at 2, I'm going to go 1 across, then 3 up. 1, 2, 3 to here. So I hope you can follow that. I'll do it in red. So I'm going to go 1 across to here, and then 3 up. 1, 2, 3. And then I can do that again, starting from... Uh, this point here, 1 across, one, and then 3 up, 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to have it here. So now I've got 3 points, 1 cross, 2 crosses, 3 crosses, and I can again join them up with a straight line. And that will be my y equals 3x minus 2. So uh, that is a quicker way of plotting your straight lines. Now, something else you may need to know is um, how to spot what the equation of a line is. So, for example, um, let me draw one out as an example. Say we have a line like uh, this one here. Okay. And the question might be, what's the equation of this line? Well... We need to use y equals mx plus c here. So it's going to be in this format. And as always, m is the gradient and plus c is the intercept. Well, the intercept, straight away we can tell that's 2, plus 2. So it's going to be y equals something something plus 2. By the way, if it was minus 2, then it would just be minus 2 here. That would be fine. But it's plus 2 and... We need the m now, so we need the gradient. So the way I do this is by forming a little triangle. Your triangle could be to here, or it could be a bigger one. It doesn't really matter. You're going to get the same answer. So let me do a triangle, say, to there, to there. So the, using the formula, change in y divided by change in x, the change in y is 3. This line is 3 boxes high, and it's 3 boxes across. So that's change in y divided by change in x. So 3 divided by 3, well, that's just 1. So the gradient is 1, and then you put the x afterwards. 1x plus 2, or you can improve that. You don't need the 1, so it's just x plus 2. So there we go. Now, it doesn't matter about exactly where you put your triangle. Say if I hadn't put it there, and I put it, I don't know, from here to here. So the triangle's here. You'll see we'll have the same thing, because the change in y is 2 here, and the change in x is 2, and 2 divided by 2 is also the 1. OK, let's see if you've picked up this and got the hang of it. Um, I'm going to show you a graph. I'd like you, please, to name the equation of the graph, of the line. So you can pause the video now if you want, give it a go. OK, so hopefully you realised it was y equals mx plus c in that format. The gradient is change in y divided by change in x, which is 2, and then 1. So 2 over 1 is 2. So it's going to be 2x, and it goes through 1, so 2x plus 1. 
hopefully you got that and I will show you uh, one more as well just uh, for some practice this one is a little bit trickier you can pause the video again now if you like okay so again we know it's going to be something to do with y equals mx plus c well the plus c that's going to be just one so that means it's going to be y equals something 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 plus one and for my gradient here uh, you've got a choice to do the triangle I wouldn't do the triangle here that's not a good place because you don't know exactly where what's going on there so I would try and make your triangle so that you're dealing with whole numbers so something like that makes sense to me so this is 3 and that's 2 so it's change in y 3 divided by 2 but well that would be 3 over 2 but you can see it's sloping downwards which means it's going to be a negative gradient so it's going to be minus 3 over 2 you could leave it like that or you could work this out this is minus 1.5 so this would be minus 1.5 x plus 1 and that's it. That's straight line graphs and y equals mx plus c.